Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft's WinDBG debugging tool to create dump log files when Magic's tech support department asks for them. When you need to troubleshoot a Magic XPA or Magic XPI engine, Magic's tech support department might need these log files to analyze and understand how to help you with your application. So on the machine where Magic is installed, just create a new folder and we'll name it MGDBG. This is where you're going to save the files that you're going to be using for the debugging. And I created it here on C and just remember where you created it because you'll need the path later on. And having this folder named MGDBG on the C directory is the default. Now you're going to need to download a copy of the debugging tool for Windows from the Microsoft site. You can find a link to this in the Magic Help in the Using WinDBG to Debug Magic topic. Now keep this topic open because you'll need to refer back to it a few times. So you need to download or run the file from this link here. So click here and you'll get to the Microsoft site. And you need to run or download this file. This one is for the 32-bit applications like Magic. So you'll click on it here and agree. Run it and wait till it finishes. Now from the topic that we looked at earlier, Download one of the files from the various links. And since we're using Magic XPA, we'll click here and save this file. Now you're going to save it to that folder that you created earlier, the one that I called MGDBG, and download it here. Unzip this file here and rename it windbg.in. Now, if you change the default of where you save this folder or the name of the folder, and you'll have to go into this file and change some of the paths there. But we're going to be using the default, so we won't do that now. Now you're going to need to open up the CMD window. So we'll just click CMD here. And you need to open it as administrator in order for it to work properly. So we'll right click here and run as administrator. Click yes, and you'll see that it opens here with the word administrator on top. And now we'll start putting in the syntax that you need. And again, you can find this in that topic that we saw earlier. So we'll go back here to that topic and just scroll down a bit. And here you'll see the syntax that you need for your CMD window. Now, the first thing that you need is the path name of the windbg.exe file. So we'll need to go to where it's located, which we can also do from here. Type in WinDBG and you'll see it here on top. And Now we'll right click on it and go to the properties and we'll just copy here this target, the path file for this executable. And in CMD just right click again and it'll enter it for you. Now when we go back to this topic you'll see you need to type in minus P and then the process ID. Now the process ID, you need the process ID of the Magic Runtime Executable. So open Magic, either Magic XPA or Magic XPI or one of the older versions. Now open the Task Manager and go here to the Processes tab. Now you want to find the PID or the process ID number and there should be a column here, PID. If you don't see it, which we don't here, Click here on the View menu, select Columns, and just click here on this PID checkbox and click OK, and the PID column will appear. Now we need to find the EXE of the Magic Runtime Executable that we want to check. The EXE the name depends on which version of Magic you're using. So each Magic product has a different EXE. So just go ahead here in this table, which also appears in that topic that I showed you earlier, and find the EXE that you need. So since we're using Magic XPA in this video clip, we'll look for Magic XPA Runtime.exe. So here in the Task Manager, we'll scroll down and find Magic XPA Runtime and make a note of the PID. So here it's 6208. Now you can also use the name of the EXE file if you only have one running, but we'll use the PID number. And so go back to the CMD. You need to make sure you have a space type minus P space, 
and the number that we found earlier, 6208, and space. Now you go back to the topic, and you'll find here the rest of the syntax. So you just want to copy this dollar sign and then the path of the IN file. And note here this path name is that folder that you created earlier. So you use the path where you set it up, and we'll copy and go back to the CMD and just hit the right click button and just press enter. And you'll see now that the WinDBG is up and running. And now run your magic application that you want to troubleshoot. And you'll see back here in the WinDBG that it says dump successfully written. This creates the dump files in the folder that you created earlier, in our case the MGDBG folder on the C drive. So let's go back there and you'll see here this dump file. Now you just need to forward these dump files using the instructions that you get from Magic's tech support department. Now you want to delete all these files because they take up a lot of space when you're finished sending them. Now if for some reason you don't have permissions to the command line, you can create a dump file by going directly to the WinDBG tool and running it as administrator. And from the file menu, select the attached to a process option and just click here on buy executable so it will be alphabetized and search for the magic XPA runtime exe. Of course, it has to be running already before you start this process and just click here on OK. And it, this command screen will open up. And again, open up your application that you want to troubleshoot and run it. And then if you scroll down here in the topic, you want to type in this command or copy it and press enter. And again, you'll find the dump files here in this MGDBG folder. Now, if you need to troubleshoot your runtime engine before startup, there's another option here in the utility. Under the file menu, you'll see open executable and just click on that and then go ahead and select your runtime exe file and open it. Now go back to the help topic and you'll want to copy this path again. And of course, if you change the path, you'll need to change it here. And we're going to copy this path, this dollar sign, and then the path of the IN file and go back into the utility and just right click here and press enter. And you'll see here that it says dump successfully written. And again, it creates your dump files in this MGDBG folder. Uh, if you've already run the utility once, there's also the option of typing in here G and then enter without having to put in the path. Now if the tech support department asks for the global flags information, then you just need to run the global flags utility, which is in all programs, debugging tools for Windows, global flags, click yes. And in this image file tab here, you want to type in the name of the exe file that you want to debug. And just tab it and it will enable the options on the screen. And just select the checkboxes that tech support asks you to check. So for example, I'll select here enable page heap and click OK. And it's very important after you're finished sending the files to tech support to go back and uncheck this so it doesn't put unnecessary consumption on the memory. And then run through the steps again for creating the dump files. Thanks and join us again soon for some more magic.